the play really helps keep, keep things light. I don't think that sixth graders can be off task and not have a giggle fest. They just do. And so I can tell the difference between off task behavior and play just by the pitch of their giggle. We always have fun with her. She's like a kid in like a smart body. But the kids are really good at interspersing 30 seconds of play and then getting back to what we're doing. Or like play is my favorite, like one of my other favorites because it's really fun to like just play around and have fun with your friends. But it's like to a certain level, you can't like freak out and stuff. You just gotta make sure that you just play. The line between play and learning, they, it's, it's just seamless. We, we play while we're learning, we're comfortable with play just being right in there. I believed that if there was misbehavior in the classroom, that it was caused. And often it was caused because the kids hadn't played enough. So I had to build play in. And at first, that was a little upfront work for me. But now they just spontaneously play, and all I have to do is play along. And as soon as I step into it, they then see me as the leader and know that we're going to go wherever I take it. They realize the impact that it has on them. They realize the, the release of tension that play can give. And as, as I listen to the kids, when we talk about the four principles, very few of them said that play made the most difference, and yet it really does.